we are, as I said, uh, getting ready to speak with our friend at Fox 29, uh, Cheyenne Corin, who is joining us right now. And Cheyenne, uh, right now you're in New Jersey. Uh, you've been there on the scene. Unfortunately, our cameras missed the actual moment of capture. What do we know about how he was brought into custody? Hey, Austin. Well, after an hours-long barricade situation, the man accused of killing three people in Bucks County is under arrest. But get this. Police say he was never actually even in that barricade and said that he escaped that area before they even put that perimeter out. But to kind of break down exactly what happened, I heard you giving our viewers a timeline. This all started early this morning. We actually spoke to a woman um, that says that she was the first carjacking victim here in Trenton, and that was right before 9 a.m. She said that she was on her way to church and we actually spoke to her and she was with her young grandson that also was in the car at that time. She broke down how that happened and she couldn't believe what happened after she was carjacked. Now what police say is after um, again his name Gordon um, Andre Gordon after he carjacked that woman early this morning he then went over to Bucks County and police say he killed his 13 year old sister as well as his stepmother who is in who was in her 50s. Police say he then went over to the home of the mother of his two children and he shot and killed her and then he also reportedly um, injured her mother with his rifle. Now she's in the hospital recovering, but Gordon wasn't done then. He then reportedly um, committed another carjacking and that's when he headed over here to Trenton. And by the way, that second person um, that Gordon carjacked, they say that that man was uninjured. Then police say he came back here to Trenton where they say um, he was experiencing homelessness and also has some roots and connections. And that's what made them put up the perimeter of the home that you probably have been showing all afternoon. And police say that they were, you know, barricading this situation, but somehow by the time they even and got that perimeter um, put up for safety reasons. He wasn't even in there. Um, and police, they weren't really able to answer directly how he was able to escape that barricade situation or why they thought he was still in there. But I actually was there on scene when I saw two women come up to police and they were yelling and they were very adamant and they said that they saw Gordon outside of the barricade down the street. I even have a moment of that on camera and the women, they said, please capture him, please capture him um, and do not kill him. And Police said that they were able to take him into custody without injuring him. We spoke to another woman who also has that video that now Fox 29 has as well, and that shows Gordon, um, you know, being arrested without any type of incident. It seemed like he went down pretty easy. And again, that was outside of the barricade a few blocks away. So we have a lot of people here in Trenton that we have been speaking with. Um, a lot of community members definitely concerned because a lot of them thought that he was within this barricade and they were all safe around the street. And that absolutely was um, not the case because he actually was walking around the streets um, blocks away. But the good news is he now is under arrest. But again, he killed reportedly three people before all of this um, unfolded here in Trenton. And police say obviously all of those people were related to him. 13 year old sister, um, a stepmother in her 50s, and then the mother of um, his two children. Austin. A very complex situation to sort out there. And you kind of touched on this already, but it just strikes me as so odd mm -hmm. that they were so fixated on this home for so long. So I, I guess that would lead to the assumption we know that they were speaking through bullhorns to try and get the suspect's attention to that home. So I guess we never heard from the suspect within that home. Is that fair to assume? Yeah, I, I guess that's what we have to assume. You know, while I was here on scene, I was able to hear them, you know, trying to speak with him within the home. I wasn't, you know, obviously we don't get to hear him, but we definitely heard them trying to get in contact with him. But as far as what police say is that he was never actually within the barricade, which means he didn't escape it because by the time they put that barricade up, he was already out and walking the streets of Trenton. And, you know, he already reportedly, according to police, killed three people. So it's, you know, he was out on the streets and fortunately he didn't harm anyone else during you know that time you know uh cheyenne while we have you here we actually just got that sound bite from the woman who you're talking about who was carjacked i want to play this while we have you okay. here um, i'm going to play this really quick let's listen to this together i was on my way uh the church, good. so i went over my daughter's house and when i was on my way to my daughter's house i pulled to the side the, you know, park until she came outside so we could go to church. So my grandson and me were in the car and somebody was pounding on my window. I looked and my, I rolled down my window and I said yes. 
and I said, what do you want? And he said, uh, get out the car. And then I seen, I, I figured he had a bag on the side of him, so the, he rolled up the window. I mean, I rolled up the window. And when I rolled up the window, he started banging on my window with the back of the gun. And when I, when he seen that, he jumped out the car and started running. Then I started, then I jumped over the seat and I, I started running. And then all we could see is uh, he sped off. When I turned around to look to see where my car was, he pulled off and, yeah. I, I was okay, so we just watched that. I, I gotta ask, you know, obviously you spoke with her directly and, and that had to have rattled her a little bit. Did she talk to you about what was going through her mind in those moments? church at that time that they were carjacked and she also couldn't believe what he did after she he carjacked her which police say was killed three people so she absolutely was shaken up um, I actually was able to see her grandson as well you know kids they're able to recover quickly but she said that he obviously was shaken up I believe she said that he's only nine years old so she just couldn't believe what was going on and she actually came up to us she said I just want people to know exactly what happened and how dangerous he was and she said of course you know there's so many people that have been impacted by this story that she just wanted to let people know um, what was going on. And of course, you know, police now have um, her car and their possession to, you know, continue their investigation. So can you tell us a little bit about the demeanor of the suspect? So I don't know if you yourself got eyes on him. Uh, it seems that you guys did have video of him being detained. What did he look like? Uh, did, what demeanor? What, did he have any expression on his face? Uh, can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, absolutely. So one woman we spoke to who she shared the video and we were able to watch it. She said that he really went down without any type of incident. It's not like he was really trying to struggle back. And she also said that at the time of his arrest, he didn't have any weapons on him. Um, we're not sure, you know, where exactly he disposed of those weapons, but she said that it was a pretty calm situation, you know, for someone that, you know, had a lot to lose in this moment. And if what police are saying that he did actually did happen, they say he went down without any incident. But of course, you know, police were very adamant and making sure that they got him under arrest safely. And again, um, police say that he was uninjured and they were able to take him in um, safely. All right, Cheyenne Corin reporting on the ground for us. Great reporting out there. And uh, we are Thank you, happy that this thing came to a close sooner Absolutely. rather than later. Take care.